the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. We're just moments away from the action. All that and more coming up next. This is a city that's hosted more Super Bowls than almost anybody else. And, uh, oh yeah, Brock, they've won a couple of their own along the way, too. We're in the home of the Buccaneers, Tampa, Florida, and Raymond James Stadium. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And, Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right mm -hmm. over them for big yardage and maybe six points too. Katie York sent to get this one started. And we're off from Tampa. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. So here come the Buccaneers, ready for their opening drive. They're led out by the seventh-year pro, comeback player of the year contender last season in Baker Mayfield. I'll raise my hand is one that was reminded once again why Baker Mayfield was the number one pick years ago to Cleveland. He expressed it last year from beginning to end in Tampa. Resurrected his career. Led these Buccaneers to a division title and a playoff win over the Eagles. And oh, by the way, earned a new contract to stay down there in Tampa Bay as a starter. He's always had the moxie. He's always had the fight. Last year he had the consistency and the attention to detail to take his game to another level. And he's into the front for a gain of about two. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. Palmer motioning right. Second and eight. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. New set of downs for him from the 46. On first down, they'll run. And he's brought down by a collective effort there. Only one yard on the carry. You know, Kate, I like to call these body blows. Body blows. you got to be committed to running the football. Even if it doesn't move the chains, I guarantee you that wear and tear will pay dividends later. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. To throw is Mayfield. That's brought in by White. Pick up a few as he heads out of bounds. As an offense, you don't call a screen, Kate, expecting to gain just a few yards. You call it, expecting to break off something big and substantial. But it's up to that defense to stay ahead of it to keep it contained to something much smaller. Case in point right there. Here they come. This is third and five. Mayfield will look to throw. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Well, that was almost one of those nice chunk plays you like to see in the NFL, Kate, before he was able to recover and provide the hit and ultimately dislodge the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays down the field. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. And no chance at a return as this one heads across the sideline at the 25-yard line. So now the Commanders will get their turn at an opening drive of the game. And leading them out, the reigning Heisman Trophy winner, the number two pick in the NFL draft out of LSU, Jaden Daniels. Well, here he comes. Here comes the Heisman Trophy winner from a season ago, and what a show he put on, man. He was a stat stuffer. Over 1,100 yards rushing. Looked a lot like Lamar Jackson did back in the day in college. And oh, by the way, 
40 touchdowns passing too. You know why this Washington organization took him so high in this draft. They want him to be Lamar Jackson. They want him to be dynamic. And he's going to get his career off and running. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. Year after year, the best offenses are multifaceted. It's not just the receivers or the tight ends that can make plays through the air. When you get running backs that can attack the middle of the field like that, man, is it difficult on the defense. This one's a little touch pass forward to his man coming across. And he'll get them enough for a first down. Gonna have to wait a little longer for his first catch of the game. Yet another example why the ball finds its way in this guy's hands time after time. He's a playmaker, and he knows how to get the yards they need. Maybe not a ton there, but enough to move the sticks. Throwing now, Daniels. And he'll go down. The Bucks brought pressure and got him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. All right, first sack on the board on the first drive as a defense. And now, well, now we let the chess match begin. The adjustments begin because we know pressure leads to sacks. And sacks in this league often leads to wins. All right, here we go. Second down. Trying again, following the set. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. It's not just imperative that a quarterback knows man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag route. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, and give your quarterback a chance. He's got it. Room to run. And he goes out close to that 45-yard line. I'm a big fan of the screen pass. Really, you can run a screen as they just showed on any play. First, second, third down. Sometimes even fourth. But it takes great acumen, a great football IQ defensively to have an awareness it's coming, and then more importantly, to stop it. Commanders punching on fourth down, and they're going to bring out the ever-reliable lefty vets, Tressway. And this one did hit at the eight, but took a big bounce and finished its journey in the end zone for a touchback. So the Buccaneer offense getting out there for their second drive. And they'll try for better results this time around, Brock, after they had to punt it away last time out. They're out and set, first and ten. Sending a tight end in motion left. They'll run here on first down. And he'll fight the good fight forward to around the 21. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. Again, this is White. And he'll find the space he needs to get this up to the 25-yard line. Give him four on that run. That's going to bring up third and five. You make that call to just give yourself a fighting chance on third down, Kate. Take at least a little bite out of the big meal between them and the first down marker. And that, that should make this upcoming call a little less daunting. From the gun on third down. Complete beyond the marker. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. You know, they call that the money down for a reason. Because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Yeah, 
They go play action here. That's going to be caught by Evans. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Second and six coming up here. Palmer coming in motion left. From the 43. This finds Evans, complete. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Now Mayfield. And the Commanders get home, they drop him. And the big play drives them backwards, second down coming up. This is one of those many moments where I'm really thankful I'm in the booth and not on the field. Because in my day, defensive tackles couldn't run like that. This is not a statuesque QB. This guy can run. And it wasn't the linebacker or DB that chased him down. It was a big old D tackle. Tip of the cap to you, my big man. They really need some chunk yardage here on second down. the gun they'll give it to him inside and he takes it up and across midfield to commander's territory it's a gain of six and now they face a daunting third and 14. i'm not kidding you kate a run of that length at the nfl level honestly is the equivalent of a run of 15 plus at the high school level it's hard in the run game to make yards and they just got a very successful one godwin the man in motion left Third and long for him here. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. The rookie from Michigan there that time. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, when you can make a play in the open field, keep them short like that, I promise you some money will follow. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. And this will fly out of bounds to deny a return. They're going to mark it a little before the 20. Back out on the Commanders for their second drive of the game. Now their last drive, not the one they want to replicate after they were forced to punt it away. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Daniels now. Throw complete to Eckler. And he's going to be brought down up at the 28-yard line. I call this quarterback's best friend. Some call it a safety valve. Some call it automatic. But it's sure nice as a quarterback when you've got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you can depend on. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Quick toss, headed left. And they take him down after just a small gain on the final play of the first. Through one quarter, neither side breaking through on the scoreboard. Hopefully no shortage of excitement coming up in the second. More from Raymond James Stadium coming up after the break. now for the second quarter. Commanders in possession. They start out with third and four. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. They'll get 18 yards there. And that'll be good for a Washington first. 
They've run this 12-yard out route, Kate, at the Combine. Well, all the way back to last century when I had to throw it. In this throw, this is a big boy throw. This is a differentiator. Can you make that deep out throw on time, on rhythm, and accurately? Well, that was teaching tape right there. Here's Daniels. He keeps those feet in and makes the catch. There's no negatives ever on a grade sheet for a completion, but that's one of those situations. If you're going to take a risk and throw an out route, you'd sure like to see a little bit more yardage gained. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Throwing now off play action. And his perfect start is over. And that's the first one of his throws to wind up incomplete. Can't cover it much better than that really well-covered feed on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. No connection on the last play. And now it's third down. Now Daniels to throw. That's caught for the first. And they're going to haul him down a step before the 30. You're right at the 31. That play good for 17 and a first down. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. They've got first down from the 31. He'll throw it yet again. That's incomplete for the moment. We do have a flag down, but it might not be good news for their offense. That's usually where we see holding calls. So the refs get him for holding, and that's going to back this offense up. Double the distance to go after that holding call. It's now first and 20. Throwing it again here. Don't get this one to Brown. And they're going to haul him down a step before the 30. You're right at the 31. Yeah, these in cuts maybe aren't the hardest throws from a degree of difficulty, Kate. But it does take some courage as a quarterback to throw into congested spaces, but it can pay big dividends. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Running left, this is Eckler. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Kid, I'll never forget walking into the Hall of Famer Dwight Freeney's meeting room with those defensive linemen. The late great John Tierlink, his coach, he had a little sign up in his, in his office, and it was sacks, and that money sign was the S, because ends and D linemen make their money with sacks. But you win games when they stop the run like that for a tackle for luck. And he will score. It's a Washington touchdown. The Commanders get the game's first points here in the second. Terry McLaurin with the touchdown. So, Brock, this offense starting to find its rhythm a bit as they finish things with a touchdown there to give them the lead. And the key word there that you said is finish because you want to have that mindset, even in early in the game, that field goals aren't going to cut it. So that's great work to make sure they finish with six points. On is Katie York for the PAT. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. York to kick this one away. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, well, plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. You got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1 and make your case for who should get a boost. Play action on first down. Flushed out of the pocket. 
He can run it. And he's brought down after a short game. You know, Kate, they always say that QB clock. You know what it's more like? It's more like an alarm, especially in a situation like that. And it's a good thing you woke up to it. Able to make something out of nothing and at least keep them moving forward. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Motioning the tight end left. Hauled in by Gonwin. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stopped. Hey, Kate, you know this from covering the Seahawks calling their preseason game. When Pete Carroll was there, if he said it once, he said it 100 times. Stay on top, stay on top, stay on top. You'll give up a short little lot route like that, but just stay on top of the deep threat. Third down from the gun. On target to Godwin. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Here's Baker to throw. He'll get this complete to White. And the tackle's made just beyond midfield at the 48. I know that completion doesn't move the chains, but I love it nonetheless. You make sure that defense is aware of every eligible player going out, and this time it was out of the backfield with the running back that shows he's adept at catching it as well. Hand off on second and short. And his short game gets them a new set of downs. That's certainly a spot where you could be more aggressive, Kate, if you wanted to take your shots. But some coaches, even the bolder ones, will take the safe play first when they get it from time to time. No third down required now. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Here's White again. And he's just spinning his wheels, man, this entire first half. They drop him behind the line. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Here's Mayfield. Able to hit Palmer. Complete. And he's brought down after pushing to that 35-yard line. Gosh, I really like this receiver on that drag route in particular. Why? Because he's a guy that creates after the catch. They don't close quickly. He could take it to the house. Third down, one yard to go. Mayfield to throw. Finds his man. It's got him. He runs this to the 25 before being brought down. They get an even 10 on that play. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. And they've got themselves another first and 10. Throwing Baker. Got Evans, it's complete. And they have this run into the red zone now at the 15. They come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. We're at the two-minute warning now from Raymond James. The Buccaneers working here. They go play action on first. And he hauls it in for the Tampa touchdown. The Buccaneers earn the chance to tie it before halftime. It's a Chris Godwin touchdown. All right, partner, what do you think? Was that a design read, or did he just see space and he was reacting more on the old quarterback instinct there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think yes on both of them. And that play happens so fast that it really is instincts on both sides. 
On is Chase McLaughlin for the point after. That one right down the middle. And we're all tied up. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The commanders and Terry McLaurin are ready for another look on offense. And that last drive, no answer for what they were doing through the air. So expect some tighter coverage this time around. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Back to throw. Here's Daniels. Fires over the middle. Caught. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for short yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play. Just like that. Throwing now, Daniels. He finds the open man there, complete. And he's able to get this down to the 36. It's a 21-yard gain. And the Commanders will have a first. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him, only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. First down, ball at the 36. Daniels. He's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there when he saw the field. It's going to be second down. Daniels back to throw. Completed here to McCaffrey. And that will not be enough for a first down. The Commanders take a timeout. They're first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Third and a lone yard coming up. Daniels now. Complete beyond the marker. And he's going to be stopped at the 17-yard line. Washington calls it second timeout. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Give them nine on that play, and it's enough for the first. Working inside the red zone. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away, and that makes it second down. Perhaps a bit late breaking towards the ball, but still just enough time to get a finger on it and knock it away. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. To throw, Daniels. This throw is cut. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. The commander's in the hurry up. They're hustling for the line. And he will score. It's a Washington touchdown. 
The Commanders take the lead just before halftime. It's an Austin Eckler touchdown. So the offense showing a, a slightly different dimension there, Brock, getting the running back involved with his hands for the touchdown. Yeah, such an advantage. I think when you think about it, Kate, it really is about the 80s where we start to see these running backs not just tote the ball as runners, but be real weapons when they get the ball in the passing game. Yeah. That's well done. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Time left for maybe a return plus a play here as they send this away. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. Only 10 seconds remaining here, so first and 10 may be our last snap of the half. Evans, the motion man here. Back to throw it. He completes it in traffic. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Second and three now. He's back to throw. Completes this one to Otten. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. One last play before the break. Looking to throw. He's going to lob one deep down the left sideline. And the Commanders watch as the return goes out of bounds, bringing us to the end of our first half. Well, that brings us to the midway point of this one. The Commanders enjoying a nice little lead here on the road. Now we'll keep it in state, but send you a couple hours away to our buddy in Orlando. It's Jonathan Coachman. He's got our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Kate, thanks very much. And with that, we welcome you all into our EA Sports Studios. This is the Halftime Report. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Commanders and QB Jaden Daniels headed out for their next look on offense. And as we see some of the highlights from their showing, his work a big part of why they're in front right now. Having a nice, solid game as their offensive leader. I think we can say he's had a firm grip on the wheel and has really driven them to this advantage. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. running dead ahead and he won't get anything there several defenders nearby to hold him up no progress on first down and that'll bring up second and ten 
Where one defender failed, well, his buddy was there to swarm to the ball and make that play just as it gets to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Staying with Eckler. And not a lot of room for him as he's brought down. Only a couple yards there, and now it's third and seven. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs, it gets the better defenses in this league. Let's see what they draw up on this third and seven. Here's Daniels. He has the first over the middle. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. That's a pickup of nine. And that'll be good for a Washington first. You know, Kate, they say a dog is a man's best friend. Well, a tight end that moves the chains on third down, that's a QB's best friend. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. Here's a give up the middle. Escapes a defender. And he's officially in enemy territory now. They're going to give him the opposing 49. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. It's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine. And that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost when he busts those tackles. Running with Eckler again. And they're going to bring him down after a good gain to the 40. Just a little short, but still a nine-yard pickup. That's going to bring up second and one. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Back-to-back -back carries here. And that short gain is enough for a new set of downs. Hey, Kate, you want to see a picture in the football dictionary of staying on schedule? That was it. Markers reset, ball at the 37. They give it to him again. And he's brought down for a loss. This is one of those situations, Kate, where I watch the body language of the running back because it'd be very easy for him to raise his hands up, look to the sideline and his O-line and go, what am I supposed to do there? There was nothing, no time at all to try and escape and react. Instead, it goes backwards. Back to the well again. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. It's a five-yard gain, and that brings up third and seven. That run's not going to turn many heads, but at the end of the year, I promise you, if you average over five yards a run, you can be a pro bowler. Let's see what they draw up on a third and seven. Now Daniels to throw. Escapes the pocket. Breaks the tackle. Green grass ahead. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And the Commanders will have a first. You know, these are the type of plays that really get an offense going. This is a chance for QB to inspire the guys around him. Calling his own number, carrying his teammates to a first down on that big run. That inflates an offense and it can suck the wind out of that defense. Bails out of the pocket quick. He's calling his own number again. And he evades any kind of trouble, but only a short gain to show for it after sliding down. That is quarterback play 101. Maybe not the first chapter of it, but man, is that important. Getting downfield, get what you can with your legs, then most importantly, protect yourself. Get down and don't take any extra contact. Here's second and seven. He'll get this one to Brown. And he's got it inside the 15 before going out. Call it seven yards on the play, and that's enough for the first down. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you get on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. the shotgun they'll give it to him inside and they bring him down pretty quickly at the 10 three yards on the first down play and that brings up second and seven a 
Another carry for him. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Just one yard on the play, though. That leaves him a third down and six to go. to throw. He's on the move. And he will score. It's a Washington touchdown. The Commanders grow the lead coming out of halftime. Great play by the QB there, Brock. The play broke down. He didn't have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise. And in the end, turned out to be the best call he could have made. It is such a necessary tool in today's NFL for that QB to put right in his tool belt, Kate. You know, in my day, you could be a blacksmith, right? You could you just do the job and stay in the pocket. Not anymore. You got to be an artist, and you got to be an artist that can create when things break down. And that's big time to get a touchdown out of it as well. That one right down the middle, and they'll continue adding to their lead. Now he's York to kick this one away. Return coming from the six. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. Now the Buccaneers set to take the field. Their work really cut out for him now, partner, to follow up that touchdown and get things back to a one-score game. First and ten now from the 30. Here's Baker. Open receiver caught. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. He'll move the sticks after ripping off a gain of 28. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. One play in, and this drive is already in enemy territory. Play action on first down. Got his target. It's Otten. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Well, there was never a play in any playbook I ever saw designed for a lost yardage play when you throw the ball. But if there's any solace, at least it was first down. A couple more chances to make up for it. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Mayfield set to pass. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he's marked down, looks like, at the 32-yard line. There's no route on the old proverbial route tree, Kate, that takes more trust than throwing an out route. You're throwing it to a spot and believing your guy can get there. One yard, all that's needed. This is third and inches. Mayfield will look to throw. Can't handle the hot throw there as it winds up incomplete. I think in a situation like that, third and inches, defense is certainly thinking stop the run first. But that's well done defensively. Not a problem for them to adapt and get into the right coverage and now force a critical fourth down. Offense still staying out after the incompletion. They're going to try on fourth. They'll run for this. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. It's an eight-yard gain. What a great call on fourth down. It keeps this drive moving. That's what I call a healthy return on investment. You run the toss play, looking for positive yards, looking to move the sticks, and I'm looking for that to be called again. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. 
Off the play fake, he's gonna throw. Cut in the goal line. And he's got it across the goal line for a touchdown. All right, so the offense does its job, Brock. Now they need their defense to give them a chance to overcome that big deficit. The momentum in the building's clearly changed. We can feel it here in the booth, but you're right. It's now up to the defense to make a stop and give them a chance. McLaughlin, attack on the extra point. That one splits the upright. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. This return starts at the five. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. And he'll be happy to keep letting it fly as much as he has all game. Look at these numbers. They show just how effective he's been in captaining this offense. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Option design here. And a couple of teammates combining there for the stop after just one yard. We'll get a stoppage now. Looks like we have someone banged up after that run in need of some attention. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Trying the inside handoff to Eckler. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. A gain of about three, so a third of what they needed. Third and six coming up. A touchdown aside in that frame as we run out of time in the third quarter. It's the commander's ball. A chance at a win if they can hang on to their lead through the fourth. Third and six for them to figure out now. Back to throw. Here's Daniels. Oh, he put some heat on this deep ball. Left side. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. It's a 30-yard play, Brock, and they've got a fresh set of downs. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position. By hitting on that shot, you've totally flipped the field and the tone of this drive. Big play gets him across midfield, sets him up first and 10 from the 40. Back now, pressure on its way. That's complete. Here's Brown. And he'll get this down to the 33-yard line. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. Running for the marker on second. And he's caught behind the line for a long. Okay, it's amazing how fast these guys are on the field and how fast your fortunes can turn. Second and short run, you're feeling good about yourself. But with a negative play, well, now comes a critical third down. Third and four coming up now. Oh. 
Throwing now, Daniels. It's taken in by Eckler. It's plays like that, Kate, right wrong. Where I sit and judge defense. I judge the awareness. I judge how well that coordinator's got him equipped to see what's going on on the field. Not just see it, but attack it. And they devoured that screen game on third down. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And that'll push it to double digits in a two-possession game. It doesn't take a math major, Kate, to realize how important that field goal was. It's now a two-score game really late and puts them in the driver's seat to go and finish this thing with the win. On now is York to kick this one away. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Here come the Bucks on offense now. They're up by two scores, Brock, but we've got some time left, so they still need to mount a drive here. Ball at the 33 for first down. To throw, Mayfield. He finds the open man there, complete. And he'll be brought down after getting it to the 47-yard line. An excellent gain, 20 yards there, and that's going to move the sticks. I'll be honest with you, Kate. As you grow and develop as a quarterback, your arm gets stronger. These comebacks can be one of your favorite throws in your arsenal. Because if you trust yourself and you throw it before that defender breaks, you know there's yards to be had on the perimeter. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. This is one of those plays that I wish we had the huddle mic'd up, Kate, because I can assure you that offensive line in their own way is telling that running back, sorry, we did not give you any chance. Offense to the line for second down. Mayfield to throw. He puts some power on a deep one left. It is caught at the 20. It's a 30-yard play, Brock, and they've got a fresh set of downs. The analytics are pretty clear. It's hard to move the ball in this league with short little dinks and dunks. You've got to get the explosive chunk. You've got to get the big play, and that throw to the outside, that gets the job done. That last shot took him right down to the front of the red zone. Here's first down. White trying this straight ahead. And he's able to push this down to the 12. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they're going to have second and two next. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. Looking for a pass on second and short. The throw is caught. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Here's Baker to throw. And they will score. It's a Tampa touchdown. The Buccaneers face a four-point deficit. They were throwing for it there, and they didn't care who knew about it, Bronk. And it turns out, hey, nothing was going to stop them either. Yeah, there's something about an empty formation. You are declaring to a defense, other than QB draw, this ball is going to be in the air. But at the same time, you also force the defense's hand. There's only so many coverages they can play, and they just exposed them.
And now for the point after, and crucially to bring things within a field goal. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Ball is set up, and it's away. Just a three-point game now. Return coming from the six. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. And like we've seen from him before, Brock, he got a good game going early through the air and kept the pressure up from then on. He's still taking it to him now as we work through this second half. Got first down from the 31. To throw, Daniels. Able to find Ertz. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. They go play action here. Not for a moment, but a great defensive play to Charlie Luce. Incomplete. As a defense, you've got to see the pass. You've got to time up your hit, and you've got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on the back one through a well-placed hit. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Looking to throw. The Buccaneers get there and bring him down. And the defense comes through to back them up ahead of fourth down. Kate, the game wasn't on the line with that series. <laughs> but don't tell the defense, because they brought the urgency and juice like it was. Getting the sack, setting up fourth down. Well, it picks everybody up on that sideline. And now their offense. It's a chance in a one-score game. The commander is ready for the punt. And he wants to hit his second effort just as well as he hit his first. Absolutely crushed his first punt, and here's another huge one. And the sunlight's not a problem for him. He looks up and makes the fair catch. We don't get a return out of that punt. And the offense ready to head back out onto the field. They're out and set. First and ten. Baker now. It's into the hands of Wright. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stopped. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. throw is Mayfield. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. And he has them a first down, which they will tackle on the other side of this two-minute warning.
So the complexion of this drive has changed dramatically now. New set of downs inside the 35. Now Mayfield. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And this one does not go far. Quarterbacks will look for their tight ends short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. To throw. The man Palmer has it. And he's down inside the red zone before hitting the deck. It's a gain of 12 there. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. To hit a curl route of that length, it takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. This one's taken in by Anu. And he's brought down inside the 10 at the 9. A nice pickup of 11 there, Brock. And they'll have first and goal to figure out. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. They'll try and punch it in. Time now taken by the Buccaneers. They're first. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. It's second and goal. Looking to throw it. And they will score. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. The Buccaneers take the lead right at the end. So what a finish this is shaping up to be. The late touchdown here, Brock, moves them in front. And week to week, what a pleasure it is for us to call these games. We never know yeah. what kind of game we're going to get. This one's been everything you could have wanted. And now, even though they've taken the lead, there's still enough time on that other sideline for them to go mount a response. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. McLaughlin has it on the tee, and he's ready to send this fly. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. Washington ready to go on offense as they take the field. They find themselves down here in the fourth after that touchdown. This game could end up depending on how they respond right here. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Now to throw. Tight end has it across the middle. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. Now we're going to get an offensive timeout. So that's their first. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. In quite the time crunch here, Brock, but still two timeouts to burn. It's first down. Throwing now. It's cut. Eckler. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. Washington calls it second timeout. Still one more in their pocket to use. A 
offense to the line for first down, conscious of that single timeout they've got remaining. Here he is to throw. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he'll go down here at the 16. Final timeout taken by the Commanders. And now they're powerless to stop that clock with a timeout at least. Second and six coming up here. Back to throw. And he will score. It's a Washington touchdown. The Commanders pull it off and should win this game. It's an Austin Eckler touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. Absolutely clutch score there, Brock, as they take the lead here in the final minute. Incredible execution. The moment not too big for any of them. And, Kate, they cashed in when it really mattered. Extra point upcoming. This to put it to a field goal game. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Now he's York to kick this one away. And he opts not to bring this one out. So they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. He'll look to throw it. On target to Godwin. And he'll go down, and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Here he is to throw. And he'll get it up to the 44. Now the offense is going to take its third and final timeout. And now they're powerless to stop that clock with a timeout at least. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Setting up to pass. Caught him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out. And it's a turnover. The defense has it. So it's a win on the road for the Commanders. And it was a game for fans of high-scoring football, wasn't it? I know Brock was enjoying seeing both of these offenses work. And really not a lot to dislike from either group. Just one side working at a slightly better clip than the other. That was the difference in the win. So for Brock Ewer, our incredible crew, everybody here at EA Sports, I'm Kate Scott signing off. We'll see you next time.